के Okay, so www.coinmarketcap.com. Okay, so this is a website as a coin trader. You need this website just to know maybe if you want to do verification or any coin you want to trade. Okay, so this is where you start from. So the coin market cap uh, tells you the volume of the uh, coin traded per day. The coin, the 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 coin, a lot about the coin, like this coin in circulation, how many coins have been minted, like Bitcoin. The maximum Bitcoin that can be minted is 21, 21 uh, million. And currently we, we have about 18 million that have already been minted. Okay, so uh, the price of Bitcoin will go higher if all the coins that needed to be minted on Bitcoin Okay, I think it should be here. Okay, we have this data. We have 18 million in circulation. Okay, the total that needed to be mixed uh, is 21. Okay, so if you come to this one, it tell you the current price of the coin. This is the current price of Bitcoin, 56, 750. Um, that's the growth in 24 hours. It has made about 7.18% growth in seven, in seven days, it has grown 20.94% in seven days. So this is the market cap. That means the total amount of money that fiat currency, we have work on fiat currency, which is the physical money that has come into Bitcoin. Okay. So this is the total market cap. It's just like a share of a company. They have their own market cap, right? For coin, you will see the market cap here. So the market cap of Bitcoin currently is 1 trillion, 1.056 trillion dollars. Okay, and uh, this is the volume that is traded, okay, in dollars and also in Bitcoin. So uh, this, this volume and market cap will tell you much about other coins. Let's take, for example, a coin like, um, okay, let me take the popular one, which is um, Ripple. Okay, Ripple is number seven. Is rated number seven based on the market cap. So Ripple is a uh, a billion coin. Okay, Bitcoin is a million coin. Why? Because you will know from the amount in circulation. Bitcoin is a million coin. There are coins which we call billion coins. There are coins which are million coins. Okay. So uh, Ripple is a billion coin, and we have about. 45 billion in circulation right now. So you can see this is the price of Ripple, which is 0 0.54, that is at 54 cents. And it has dropped within 24 hours, 2%. It has dropped in a week, 8%. And is currently, it has a market cap of 24 million. Is it million? Yeah, 24 million. Okay. Okay, no, 24 billion. It's billion, not million. It's twenty-four billion. So you can see amount of money in this in this market. Now this coin is a very uh, trading coin. Okay, we have three types of trading cryptocurrencies. Let me list it out. Okay, number one is buying and holding. Okay, you just know about a coin, and they tell you maybe in five years time, or in two years time, or in three months, or in two weeks the coin is going to grow. Okay, so you just go and buy the coin and you hold it for a long time. That's long time trading. Then number two is the buying and selling. Okay, so the buying and selling is a short, is a short trading in such a way that there's a platform, I'm going to show you a platform. You will use a chart to monitor the price of the market when it is oversold, when it has gone up. Okay, and you wait for it to drop because the buying and selling is, is kind of is a skew of buying low and sell high. Okay, buying low and sell high. Just like, let me use it like a farm products because the way I'm studying this coin is more like, a, it's more stable like farm products. Let's say 
for those who do agriculture, maybe probably when um, they just process, um, what should I use now, agricity or watermelon, or what should I use? Okay, now they just process them, maybe when they just carve them from the farm, the price is low. So you quickly buy low and you store it, right? And when it's no more the farming season or something, and it's selling high, you quickly sell high because if you don't sell high, you, if you don't sell and you you wait, let me admit, I think there are other people. Okay, if you don't sell, it will also drop because there are other products, there are other new products which is coming out. So your trading, the buying and selling is a skew. You need to know when to buy low and sell high. So um, knowing that is true a chart. So begin, I'm going to show you the charts. You study the charts, how we're going to study the charts and know when to buy low and sell high. So the buying low and sell high, as you can see now, if you go through this chart, they will tell you within 24 hours, the market has moved. So that means if you're able to get a coin, let's say this one now, NEM, and you put your money in this, in 24 hours, your, your money would have grown. 11.4 percent that's what it means okay so it means that you can make at least even 50 percent in a day it means you can make 10 percent it means you can so if you look at it market trading coin is very variable if you see the losses they are very very low that means if you you are you're unlucky to pick a wrong coin okay or you pick a coin and it didn't do well it actually is a good coin but it didn't do well at that day maybe you lost you are going to lose 0 0.5 percent so if it grows, you, you make profit. So all this percentage tells you the potentials of how much you can buy and sell it. Okay? Because if you buy and hold, sometimes it might just move 30%. Before you know it, will drop. It will drop to maybe 10% or 5%. Then later on, goes up. So the second trading, which is buying and selling, is you trying to maximize the, uh, the profit. So you buy and you hold, you look at other coin, you invest again in other coins so because there are different coins. If you see one that has overbought, that is very high, you won't want to enter that market again. You will go and look for other coin that is low, that is about going up. So you carry your money from the other coin, invest in this. So although it comes with risk, sometimes you just, if you are in one and it's not doing well, you want to close at any risk that uh, you expose yourself so that you, go to the other coin and uh, recover whatever it is. So we have about 8,000, is it about uh, 1,800 coin, if I'm, if I'm right, on this, on this platform. So it's not all the coins that are good, okay? It's not all the coins that are good. Some are just, some will just, some with high tech um, knowledge can create a coin. Anybody can create a coin, right? So some of them, some of them create the coin and use it to do the, um, they use it to do a game called um, dumping, okay? They just put money into a coin. Everybody say, wow, the coin is going up. You enter, they crash the coin back. So it's kind of like- It's kind of, uh, kind of coin. Bitcoin. I need to meet some people, sorry. So, so you, you need to be able to identify which of the coin to put your money in, okay? So we're going to go into which of the coin you should put your money in, which one has a variable, which one is growing. So, and um, for most of the people making money in the coin now, they don't really make money from Bitcoin per se, okay? They make money from any coin that is below $1. Okay, any coin that is below one dollar or around one dollar. Okay, so we have some coin like that in sense, like the dodgy coin, as you can see it. Okay, it's a variable coin, although it's a mimi coin, but because of the social um, social rep behind it, it's, it, it has made it a, a, a coin that someone will definitely want to look into. Okay, so and it is trading below even 10 cents is now five cents so you can trade this coin and some other coin so this one gives us overview of any coin. so another thing you need to know if anybody is introducing you to a coin you need to first of all come and find the coin 
in the um, coin market cap. If it's not there, um, at least as, uh, that means there is uh, killer with that kind of coin, okay? And um, it's not worth your investment because probably um, they're just it's just a networking coin. Okay, so and also there are some companies the way they, they are built coin. Maybe they have an idea, okay, and they use coin to raise funds. So investing into a coin is not just like buying into coin. You're also buying into a company or an idea or a technology idea or a technological in, uh, innovations. Okay, so if you buy into such coin and there, there's a really real life use of those coin, the coin is a good coin. So those are the coin you. Those are the things you need to watch out for. What is the what kind of solution is the coin providing? Like the uh, Ripple, it is meant for banking system, payment system, right? So it has a viable use, real life use. So if you put your money, no matter how it goes, your the value of your money will not, you know, will not just go down into zeros. Okay, even if it drops, you can hold it for a long time and you will recover it back. So you need to look at the coin. What is the what's the real use of the coin? Or uh, what is the technology behind the coin? What is the solution in the coin? Because most people now provide are using coin. There's one the ICO, they are no more doing it, initial coin offering. Okay, they use coin to raise funds for their businesses. So if you buy a coin, you are buying into the business. So you need to know what kind of business is the coin um, built for. Okay, so uh, that's about coin. Let, then let's go into, I talked about two types of trading, right? Holding, buying, and selling. And um, the third one is investing, okay? So some might just say, okay, I don't, I don't want to, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have time to study a coin. I don't have time to know when to buy. I don't have time to. So there, there are some platforms whereby even the um, the uh, exchanger platform whereby they will allow you to lend your money. Okay, you you have money on your platform. They will ask you to lend it out. That's investing. Invest it out. There are certain percentage they're going to pay you. So it might not be more lucrative uh, compared to the number two or number one because if they have already fixed the percentage they're going to give you. So if they invest the money and make even 100% or 200% of the money, they're just giving you maybe 10% or 20% or something lower than that. So that, but it depends on you. There are people who are very busy. They just want to make sure that uh, they don't want to expose their money. You don't want to risk your money, right? And you want to make some certain profits. You go to investing. Okay, so investing has a way of like guarantee you, you might not, you are not going to lose your capital if the platform is still on, right? So your money is going to be there and it, there's a certainty that is growing, whereby the buying and holding depend on the supply and demand of the coin, depend on what's happened in the uh, cryptocurrency market. While this uh, buying and selling depends on your ability to know when to buy and when to sell. So when to, if it is, if you are over greedy and you make profit and you're not cashing out, the coin might drop. So you are exposing your, your main capital to risk, okay? So uh, for you to be able to trade the coin, okay, we have what we call exchangers or brokers, okay? So you use an exchanger, exchangers to trade, okay? so. Uh, one of the most popular one is the Binance, okay? So I don't know if you have, if you don't have it, I'm going to send, um, I'm going to send a link so that you open your Binance accounts and also send a link. So we're going to discuss, it's good to have like at least um, two or three exchanges, okay? Because the some coins are not is not uh, so you, there are some coin which you might see on the coin market cap or you know about or which might not be on your exchanger. So we have the Binance as an exchanger. Exchangers provide you with wallets. Okay, so they provide with wallets of all the coins. They provide you with the markets. They provide you with price. So exchanges allow you to deposit your money 
into their platform. So when you have your money into the platform, you can see the coin and you trade them. Okay, so um, you can also buy directly from them. So like the Binance, we have the we 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 have the coins market on them. So you have you will see. I'm going to see different coins uh, on the Binance. Binance has more coin. There are other platforms also. Now that so the second one is uh, Polonex. Polonex is also an exchange or we call it for foreign call them brokers. Okay, so you get your money in Bitcoin or whatever coin you want, and you have them, you have the you have your money in Bitcoin with them. So that's the fund you want to trade. You want to trade, you have to get your money into this. So um, for you to fund your exchange account before the Binance come with the idea that Nigerians can fund their accounts with Nera, okay? So they were able to like open a Nera branch whereby you can just deposit with your Nera into their into their account, their Nera account, and they will pay you Bitcoin into your Bitcoin account. So, but because of the um, government, the CBN frowning on crypto, what CBN does is no, it's not as if CBN. People are just misinforming people that uh, they ban Bitcoin, they ban crypto trading, all of that. They do not ban crypto trading. They just banned exchanges, um, mega exchanges from receiving, uh, you know, receiving money and then converting it to Bitcoin or converting Bitcoin back to Nera directly. So, but individuals or the peer-to-peer -peer system can you can still buy Bitcoin. Okay, from someone that you know, is it because the trading, the buying of Bitcoin is also a trust, is a trust business. So you need to buy Bitcoin from someone. You know. The person will give you, offer, the person will give you his own exchange rate. Okay, so there are some exchange rate. Let's say uh, currently Bitcoin is going for like five or four, okay, 490, 495 to 490, even to 495, one dollar. Okay, that means. If you want to buy hundred dollars of Bitcoin, you need to pay $1,549,000 to get hundred dollars of Bitcoin. So when you are you pay that, the person asks you for a Bitcoin wallet. Okay, we will do all that in practical session now. Next session, the person asks you for a Bitcoin wallet. You send Bitcoin, send your Nera to the Bitcoin account, so the person send Bitcoin to you. Nelson, please mute your mic. Okay, so the, the person will send the Bitcoin to your wallet. So, where once you create accounts with this exchange, they're going to give you automatically you have a Bitcoin wallet. So uh, you have a Bitcoin wallet. And then if I click on deposit, like for this one now, it will show me all the coin. So you can also de deposit the uh, different coin directly into your account. You can also deposit uh, Bitcoin. So the major one is to, once you want to start, you have to deposit Bitcoin. So you get your Bitcoin wallet and they will send the hundred dollars, I'm using hundred dollars as an example, what of Bitcoin into your wallet. So you can now trade with it. You can now go to the exchange and buy and sell any coin you want to buy. We'll do the practical session of that. So that's um, exchange in the modern this. Another exchange that the third one is Bbox. Okay, so Bbox is an interesting. I think it's not popular. Like I'm just giving you guys a a cheat on this. Bbox is a, is is a Chinese um, is a Chinese exchanges. Okay, so the they have you know Chinese guys now. They they develop a lot of technological stuff. So. There are some interesting coin that you take advantage of from here because they build those technology and then you know build coin behind it. And most of the coin you'll be seeing on this place on Bitbox, you, you might not see it on, on Polonex or Bitrex. Okay, so 
you 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 want to have an account here to so that you can put your money if you want to diversify your money you can put maybe if you have one thousand dollars you diversify put hundred dollars on each of the coin that they would have so many there are coins which are they move very drastically on this platform you can see a coin moving almost 35 percent within 24 hours this one is 16 percent so and most of them for those coin most of them have coins that are very very low in price okay they have coins which are very uh 10 cents, 5 cents, 7 cents, and all of that. So uh, some are not even up to 1 cent. So if you have platform here, you now, you trade the coin. You click on, you click on trade. You must have your money. You convert your money. But once you have your Bitcoin. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is a chart. As we can, this is a chart, you know, showing us the price, the movement of this particular coin. Okay. Okay, so this is a price showing us the movement of this particular coin. And if you were going to, I'm going to maybe one of the class will focus on how to study, you have to study this chart. So it's from this chart, you will know that the price of a coin is low or it has gone up high. So it's from here, the chart shows you the price is low, it's about like this green candle. The green candle shows that the price is going up, while the red candle shows that the price is coming down. So this is like a daytime frame, okay? And now the chart is showing that this price, the coin is going, this particular coin is going up. It has just moved, this, the name, the title of the coin is uh, BTT. Okay, I think sometimes it tells, they will write something about the coin for you here. And uh, it, it just moved 14% today. So you, assuming you enter at early, as when the price started moving, your account would have grown 40%. Whatever you put here would have grown 40%. Okay. So the chart, so this is the chart you're going to use to study and um, be able to know when to buy and when to sell. Now, I'm going to send you guys the link so that you open. Now, the for the other two, Polonex and Bitrex, you have to have your national ID, your or driver license or whatever, then probably, I don't think they ask for statement of account. To do verification on it, you need to be verified. Okay, you need to verify, although they can allow you to do some certain transaction, but if your money is getting bigger in the platform, you need to verify and they can be so stupid if you make big money because this coin can move anytime. You are lucky and there's a huge move and you have big money, they would, might not allow you to withdraw the money. So it's better you even verify before you start anything with them. So then the poll, the, um, the B box, this platform is very easy for you to they don't have very, they won't ask you to submit any document because there are some people who say, I don't have driver license, I don't have international passport. So you can start with B-Box. B-Box, what you need to do is to verify your email. You need to do what we call um, Google Authenticator. It's, a, it's an app on Google. It's called Google Authenticator. You need to download the, the app on your phone. And there's a code that will be generated before you can log in. So if you do that, it's kind of form, form of their own form of uh, verification. So um, I will send the link on how to do the research. Show me go on, on WhatsApp. I don't have much time on Zoom, so that we'll do more practical session on this. So I will send us the link. We'll, we'll take the class to, the, to WhatsApp so that we can do the registration. So that's about the platform and the coin does the potential about the coin. So another thing you need to know is Bitcoin fluctuates, okay? So if you have your money in Bitcoin, let's say you just buy $100 Bitcoin now, okay, what's of Bitcoin? Your $100 does not stay in $100 because Bitcoin price always moves. It either goes or goes down. So if it goes down, your $100 can be $90. It can drop 10%, that's it. Your $100 can be $90. But there's, there are other coins which we call US data. You can see that there's US data, there's USD, 
C. So this one are like digital dollar, they don't change. So one thing you, you will do, when once you get your Bitcoin, if it's on the platform, you will quickly convert it to US Tita before you trade. Okay, that means you know you are trading with certain amount of money that is not really affected by the Bitcoin price. So we have the US Tita and US, USC and then the bit, Bitcoin, you can also trade in Ethereum. You know, you can, once you, these are the uh, fundamental price or fundamental currency that your money can be in. It can be in U. It can be in Bitcoin. It can be in Ethereum. It can be in USD. So these three fluctuates. Okay. So it can either goes up or go down. But if you want your money to remain, you just maybe you are still watching a chart and you don't want something to. Happen. You just convert that money back to USDT. It's called USDT. So the price of that um, a digital dollar, we call it. It doesn't change, so it remain. If you have hundred dollar, it will be hundred dollar for hundred years or whatever years. So it will remain like that until you you use it to trade. So most of the coins are paired with them with 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 the USD Tita. Okay, so you, it will show you the amount of coin you are about to buy and the amount of dollar it will what. Okay, so. Um, today, actually, we'll do more of um, introduction to the platform and creation of accounts. All this, we're going to sell you register accounts successfully. Then we'll now do the technical part. The technical part, which is more of the practical part, is understanding these charts and also how to use this platform, okay? Where your wallet is, where your assets are, where, where your orders are and all of that okay so you can also go after we do the registration you can i will just give you just encourage you to go to the platform and do some research some are self-explanatory okay it's just that what we're going to be doing is how to understand this chart okay we call this this red and green bar you are, called, you are seeing is called candlesticks so in technical analysis so you need to understand how these candlesticks are being formed so to know which one is a buy candlestick and which one is a sell candlestick. So you know, it will tell you this market is about to buy, depending on the color of the candlestick, the size and the price and the level it is. Okay, so then um, you will see from the charts where to buy, where to sell. Okay, so let's say for this coin, it's, you will see from the charts. Okay, so this place that is called buy dodges, you want to buy Dodge coin. Okay, so if you have your money in US Tita, like this place now, this is the amount I currently have on the US Tita. I bought, I bought all the coin already. So I have 0 0.005. I assume I have $100 or $500 here. I would tell whether I want to use 50% of the amount or 75% or 100% or I'll just type the amount here. It will show me the total US that I want to buy. Then I'll click on buy. It will buy. Okay, so it buys as the price is going up. I felt maybe from my analysis that the price has gone up, oversold. I will come here. It will show me the amount of the coin. You see, it will tell you that this is the amount of the coin you have here. Do you want to sell? And it tells you this is the price here. And you, you put the amount here. If it's all the coin you want to sell, you put it 100%. If just 75%, you want to sell, you put it. If it's fifty percent of it, you want to sell, you put it. It will tell you the total amount of the US data, that means the dollar value you're going to get. You click on sell. So if you look at this chart, that's what is going. A lot of people are trading currently. The red one you are seeing, uh, right hand side, uh, traders, people or investor currently buying this coin, selling this coin. This ones are selling. The red one is selling this. They are selling price. Why the uh, green one is buying. So it's a business, it's a simultaneous buying and selling. So as you are buying, another person is selling it. As you are selling it, another, so you just like market, you know, you go to the market, you buy something, another person is ready to buy, To you are ready to sell it, another person is ready to buy at higher price from you. So that's what is going on here. So there are very coin, in our next class, I will tell you which of the coin you need to watch out. It's not all the coin you need to trade because Although the trading of the coin has its own risks, but it's a good business in such a way that even if it dropped, 
compared to other trading instruments, do you you might not just lose your money. Let's say you buy a coin and it costs you hundred dollar, but but the thing dropped and become maybe forty dollar or thirty dollars. Okay, the value has dropped, but you still have the coin. And if you are, if you don't sell the coin, you hold it for a time. It there will be a time that it will shoot up. You look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin went to up to twenty thousand as far as two thousand and seventeen, and in two thousand and eighteen nineteen, it dropped to three thousand. Okay, so later on, it started moving. It hit the twenty thousand, and now it's fifty five. So that's the progressive movement of coin. So um, it, it's trading coin is risky, but um, if you are trading this way. You know, because it's coin and it's a futuristic, um, uh, uh, futuristic commodity or like put it object. It, 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 there's a level of assurance that you can manage what's the shop that comes with it. Okay, so in trading, buying and selling the skill. Uh, I'm going to discuss that on our next class. So, do you people have any question? I have only one minute remaining on Zoom. Do you have any questions? Then let me unmute you. And if you have other question, you can type your question. We might just continue the class on, on the on the WhatsApp group. Okay, so do you have question? Who have question? Do you have any question? Do anyone do you have any question? No, not at the moment. No question at the moment. Awesome. So, um, any of you have any of the accounts? Any of the exchanges account? Have you created account with Binance or Polonex or? No. Okay. So, uh, don't worry. I'm going to share the link with the instruction on how to open the account. So it's very easy your email, probably with your phone number. So we're going to do that on the, on the WhatsApp, okay? So um, what else? I think is this 